Hello, this is Grady Parsons, and this is our continuation of our series as we walk through the Foundations of Polity, which are the first section of the uh, Book of Order, which is part of a constitution of the Presbyterian Church. Today we're looking at F10203, Christ Gives the Church Its Life. And it reads, Christ gives to the church its faith and life, its unity and mission, its order and discipline. Scripture teaches us of Christ's will for the church, which is to be obeyed. In the worship and service of God and the government of the church, matters are to be ordered according to the word by reason and sound judgment under the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Now today I'm looking also, as, as we continue to look at the Book of Confessions, as the Book of Confessions and the Book of Order speak to each other, I'm looking at the Barman Declaration, uh, section 8.17. And there it says, The Christian church is a congregation of the brethren in which Jesus Christ acts presently as Lord in word and sacrament through the Holy Spirit. As the church of pardoned sinners, it has to testify in the midst of a sinful world with its faith as with its obedience, with its message as with its order, that it is solely his property, and that it lives and wants to live solely from his comfort, and from his direction, and the expectation of his appearance. And what I like what the Barbarian Declaration says about this that supports what the Book of Order says is the fact that Jesus Christ is presently is presently in the life of the church. It's not Jesus Christ who has started the church and left us on our own, or Jesus Christ is waiting for the end of all time. This is Jesus Christ who lives and moves and has his being also in the life of the church. So that when you and I gather, we, we proclaim that Christ is there in our midst. When we come to the table, it's not my table or your table, it's Christ's table. When we deliberate uh, about decisions we need to make in our church, we discern, try to discern the mind of Christ for that moment. Christ is a living, breathing presence, uh, a presence in what we do and what we say, how we worship, how we sing, how we hope, how we relate to each other. All those things are, are Christ who is with us in the moment. I think it's an important thing to remember in our church life that as we gather together, we're, it's not just you and me gathered to that space, but it's you and me and our relationship with God that we have through Jesus Christ. It's that Holy Spirit that's breathing in our lives, that's teaching us how to pray, that's trying to make this whole living thing alive, this thing we call the church. So it's not just a bunch of people sitting uh, in rows listening to someone preach. It's not just uh, folks passing the plate around. It's not just folks gathered around a fellowship table, but it's folks gathered around a living Christ who is in their midst, uh, bringing them life and bringing them hope and bringing them a sense of presence. So the question you want to ask yourself, and we need to ask ourselves is, is first off, do we understand that? Do we sense that Christ is a living presence in the life we have as a church, both our life as a church and an individual congregation, and our life as a church as the PCUSA? And if we do sense that presence, are we living in a way that, that we are glad that Christ is there to witness it? Are we living in a way that Christ celebrates the victories we have and struggles with us in our struggles and moans with us in our times of despair and also celebrates with us in our times of hope? So when we baptize that baby, Christ is there. When we say goodbye to that beloved sister who's gone on to be with the Lord, Christ is there. When we explain one more time the uh, story of Noah and the ark to a little four-year-old, Christ is there. When we one more time uh, turn to our neighbor and say the peace of Christ, it's Christ there with us shaking that hand and making that experience real. So Christ is gives the church its life, but he doesn't just give the church its life. Christ is the church's life, the life given through the Holy Spirit that you and I enjoy and have as part of our life. So again, I challenge you to ask yourself that question. Is Christ a witness to the life you have in the church? And is it a life that we're glad that Christ is witnessing? Thank you, and we'll see you again.